It is uh, great to be here. My name is Don Tollison, and I have the great pleasure these days of working for the Philadelphia Eagles. It is beyond annoying when you walk into a Wawa in either White Marsh or Bluebell, and a person pouring coffee at 7 in the morning on your way to doing something hears your voice, and I'll say it as cleanly as I can, turns around and goes, Hey, Dolly! What the F is wrong with the organization? Yeah. And it, it, it never, it never stops. But I'm here tonight uh, representing the Eagles Television Network and, and more importantly, uh, representing a group of people who have the greatest admiration uh, for this tournament, for this tournament and what you have accomplished and continue to accomplish. And I wanted to uh, apologize on both ends of my arrival and my departure. First of all, these lanes are so successful, as Anthony knows. Uh, I parked in Pottstown and walked <laughs> through the lanes, the 180 lanes. Not to date myself, because uh, I came here in 1974. But one of the first time I was at Facenda Whitaker was for the Catholic League Bowling Championship. Why do I remember things like this? But in a thrilling late comeback, Goretti, not Goretti Newman, beat Roman. So I always think of that when I'm here. But I, I come here tonight to praise so many friends in the room, and I know, I'm sorry, Anthony. Next time parking a lot next door, it's a lot Good. Good. Do the few order. Yeah, he, probably, he probably owns that. Good, good, good advice as I'm leaving, but guys, I'm going to have to leave because I have a couple of meetings tonight still to go to for Martin Luther King Day activities and, and weekend activities that some of you are aware of. Some involve sports elsewhere and some involve service projects, but one of the things, hello young man, how are you? One of, the, one of the things I wanted to do, I know most of you have been involved in the tournament previously, uh, but if you're new to it, there's two things I'd like to say as a sportscaster who's been involved in sports on and off the air for, for many, many years. Uh, first of all, there is not a better run youth sports tournament, or maybe let's take it to higher levels. Let's go high school, let's go maybe even college uh, than this tournament. And that's due to the fact that everybody involved in it treats the children involved in a really, really wonderful way. And, and the professional manner in which the children are, are treated is something that to me is, is second to none in terms of any tournaments I've had any involvement with, covering, sponsoring, or being a part of. Uh, but the second thing I wanted to mention, and those of you who have been there before know that I'll, I'll stop by on Monday whenever I can, running around to a lot of the, the service projects that my own nonprofits have. But one of the things that amazes me is every year this tournament gives money to charity. And they also, in my case, give us some athletic gear, some uniforms, some gift bags and all uh, that we take back to children who can really, really, really appreciate what it is they're able to get from anybody at any time. And, and I'll leave you with a story that, that Mike Brophy and I shared. I, I have a kid, one of the kids in my program who was involved in, in my mentoring stuff since he was a freshman in high school. Started out at Ben Franklin High School. Uh, ended up going over to Prep Charter. Comes from a family situation in North Philadelphia that you cannot possibly imagine. And, and I work with a lot of families that boggle my mind. But he has uh, dual brothers incarcerated, a mother who's no factor in his life whatsoever, a father who is non-existent. He doesn't even know to this day who he is. He lives with a grandmother who is so overwhelmed taking care of additional grandchildren that when I worked with some people to get him his first part-time job, as a sophomore in high school, uh, his uncle, who was a deadbeat who stays there when he's not on the streets, uh, stole his first three checks. And, and these are the kinds of things these kids are up against. So when St. Helena and the other schools involved and the people involved give me some money, yeah, but more importantly, some goods that I can give to the kids, some athletic equipment to get some uniforms, uh, it means the world to me. And, and Mike was with me recently when this kid who has overcome all of that to become a member of the United States Army, now deployed in the National Guard, uh, just had a kid and named me the Godfather. And you talk about fulfilling moments in your life, because I've only played a, a tiny role, I think, in his life, but I never, ever stopped telling him that there was a way beyond what he saw. So to be associated with a tournament that really teaches kids about values, about community, about respect for others regardless of race, color, and creed kind of puts this to me on a plane different than it's great basketball uh, would alone. So I apologize for, for dipping out kind of quickly. 
I hope you'll understand what we're working on. And if you have any interest in what we're up to now, the, the biggest change in, in winning ways and One Child Saved and my other charities since I last spoke to you guys, which was two <laughs> years ago, and then I was at the tournament briefly on Monday a year ago on, on King Day itself, is we have started what is believed to be the first national, first national career development program and career identification program in elementary schools. And it's a sad commentary. It's a sad commentary on how bad things are in the inner city. But if you didn't hear the news, three teenagers, three teenagers in Kensington got shot to death in two instances. The other guy's clinging to life in a car as part of a stepfather getting involved with a fight that involved apparently three stepsons or three kids of his. And, and that's what we're up against. That is what we are up against day in and day out. So what we've decided to do, and you'll hear more about it at a website we just started called EmployYoungAdults.com for the older kids. That's where it's skewed initially. But we're now going to be taking career days and career ambition and career exposure programs into the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. And I'll be able through the network that St. Helena has established uh, to get you information on it. And if there's anything you can do uh, in your parish, anything you can do in your community to get us into a position where we can help these kids learn about careers uh, other than criminal activity, uh, I'll be greatly indebted. So I don't want to impose on you, but that's something I'll mention on Monday and we'll follow up on. Uh, enjoy the evening. God bless you all. And thank you for using sports as a teaching tool about life, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you.